Waterton Canyon, Colorado Trail. This is the very beginning. So I came up to Denver. My wonderful parents offered to drive me up to Denver and drop me off. So I did that and then I stayed with some friends of mine. Had a fantastic time last night. In fact, probably had too good of a time last night seeing all my old friends again and uh, to start off a long hike, you know, so, but I'm very happy. Later. I am looking 500 miles of gnarly right down the barrel. I'm headed off to do the Colorado Trail. Uh, today is Wednesday, July 1st. Uh, day two and segment two and got up really early this morning had a nice camping campsite with a bunch of people last night had a good time and today it's raining uh, or sprinkling that's what it looks like out here big outcropping and I'm only about 7,000 feet right now it's 730 in the morning I've been hiking for about 30 minutes already and so far so good. I mean, it's beautiful out here. <laughs> There's Porterhouse Steak. Of course, they claim he's made out of a beer. How's it going? Say hi. hi. This is dinner time. We're all really hungry. Colorado Ken. Today's the morning of day four. And a couple of people have already left camp and I've left camp. We had a really good camp last night with a lot of fun people and it was fantastic. Today I'm going to try to go 16 miles and then the, the last 8 or 10 are just really uphill to the top of a pass. So, but right now I'm about 10,500 feet and look at this valley that I'm in. Colorado Ken here. Just heading into Fris or uh, Breckenridge now. I have another four miles to go to get there and we've uh, we've gone 111 miles I've been with a really cool group of people and there's a lot of just wonderful through hikers that are on the trail this year it's been a lot of fun and tonight we're all gonna try to get a hostel together and then meet up and go out to dinner and then we'll see um, after that maybe you know, we might all end up splitting up, which could happen. But this is the little trail that I'm on. And I'm, look how pretty it is. It's beautiful. About five minutes ago, I saw four deer running around. And I'm keeping my eye out for moose. Last night, we had coyotes surrounding our camp. And it sounded like a little baby coyote, too. Which is you know really cool but like I said I'm gonna take a Nero day uh, which means almost zero I'm only walking four miles today into town get some food do my laundry uh, take a shower and eat a lot of food make some phone calls so very happy it's been a wonderful hike so far everybody's done really well and we made some pretty good miles so, I will catch you on the flip. See you later. Hey, good morning. Colorado Ken here. We stayed in a hostel last night in Breckenridge. Just beautiful, had a wonderful sleep. This is our hostel, or this is where we stayed. I mean, it's kind of trash this morning, but three bunks, three bunks. I slept right there on this bunk. It's all a cabin. Look at our backyard. Beautiful. That's Breckenridge down there. They're building something, houses over there. But it's just gorgeous, and then I'll show you where we all were hanging out last night. Kicking it and then eating breakfast this morning. We stayed up pretty late last night chilling out. But that's the so now I'm outside of the room. Walk through.
There's my group getting all ready to go. Some of them. So we'll come down here. This is Tank. What's up? What up? <laughs> this is Rebecca. Good morning, Rebecca. This is Breezy. And Mohawk was around here somewhere, but this is where we ate breakfast this morning and hung out last night. It's beautiful. There's Mohawk right there. What up, Mohawk? And look at that chair. That's an incredibly weird looking chair. So I'm gonna get all my stuff together and get ready to go out. It's gonna snow today, <laughs> right? I am headed away for Breck now. And I didn't start hiking until 12 o'clock today. I had a hostel last night, had a nice breakfast and lunch. Got everything together, got all my clothes washed. New water, I sent a couple of things home, just an extra shirt that I thought that I might not need. And uh, readjusted a little bit of stuff, but this is Brackenridge way down there. Sure is pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful. This is the trail I'm going on. I'll be hiking up that way. Today I'm only trying to go about five miles to get the, to the base of a peak. And then tomorrow morning, I'll summit the peak. And start heading for Twin Lakes, where I'm gonna be meeting my mom and dad. And I'm really looking forward to seeing them. It's gonna be great. But I had a fantastic time at the hostel with all the friends and everything last night. But happy to be back out on the trail. Feels really good. It's been raining all day. And they say that it probably snowed on that pass that I'm going to be taking tomorrow. So it's pretty happy that I stayed a day there uh, and let that storm pass. And then hopefully tomorrow, just hike up over the snow, get to the other side. Uh, it's been fantastic. Colorado Ken here. Today is Thursday, July 9th. And I had a wonderful camp last night with Rebecca. We had a, it was just her and I, we had a beautiful fire and good talks and it was just really a nice campsite. But I'm coming up over the summit today. Yeah, made it on top. And this is epically beautiful. Look at all this snow. Look at my panoramic. You got a lake down there. This is just beautiful. Look at those mountains. I'm headed that way through all those mountains over the top, I think. The temperature's fantastic. You got nice, crisp, clean air. The views are spectacular. The trail is nice and clean. Just feels good to me. I mean, you got that little bit of cold. I mean, it's cold, it's chilly up here. 13,000 feet, I don't really know. But look at that. Wow. Goes all the way around. Mountains everywhere. So beautiful. Hey, we're stopped here. Where are we? Copper Mountain. Because this place is dope. Eva, <laughs> chomping on my. Yeah, everybody's eating fries. This is Fred over here. Porter Rebecca, Porter, relaxing. But this is where we are, and I'm gonna walk you down to where the bumper boats are, because this is really cool. But this is Copper Mountain over here. This place is sweet. I like it. It was weird because we only walked for like a mile and a half. <laughs> I mean, we stopped for lunch. Today we cleared a big pass, and then we stopped for lunch, and uh, picked up Eva and Fred. And then we walked for only a mile and a half. And I saw this down here and was like, man, I have to stop and check this place out. Because it, it, it was like an amusement park going on. And I saw the little bar and grill. So we're going to stop and have lunch here, which is fantastic. None of us expected it. So it's really great. But this is 
See, so check this out. Pretty sweet. People zip lining <laughs> across the river. That's really cool. Little beach down there. Beautiful mountains. This place is fantastic. There's still a lot of snow up here. I like Copper Mountain. There'll be a band set up right over here behind this pillar. Look at that snow still. And we've been hiking from that direction. We came through the mountains and then I saw, I got to right there and was like, no, we gotta come back and come down. How's it going, man? Hey, Colorado Ken here. Today is Friday, July 10th. And we camped at about close to 11,000 feet last night. So everybody was pretty cold this morning. I did just fine, I was really warm. But look at the view that I wake up to this morning. It's just gorgeous. We got this meadow here going all the way down and we're gonna climb a pass this morning that should be about 13,000 feet but it's getting up closer to being on top of the pass now look at that pretty snow and I came from way down there I mean like 150 miles down that way it's been nice because we've had a lot of running water a lot of mud and it's been uh, pretty wet every night last night it rained all night long and I woke up at about 5 in the morning to summit this pass and look at what a beautiful day it is today I mean the weather broke open I can't believe that mountain is so green it's got like grass going all the way up it and the air is so clean up here I mean there's not a lot of air but what air there is really clean it smells so good out here the temperature has a slight chill to it but not bad And the trail I'm walking on really is not too difficult. The only hard part is the elevation that we're at, which is we're getting close to 13,000 feet. There's one of those signs, a post that has the Colorado Trail and Signy on it. I'll walk back to it. Colorado Trail. Yeah, Colorado Trail. The CT. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm achieving the summit. This is where I came from. I'm up on the saddle. Look at what it's opening it up to. I'm on the saddle. This is no snowmobiling. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I so love this. I mean, I can't imagine waking up every day to this kind of beauty for a month. I mean, I've already done it a couple of weeks and it's just, I never want it to end. It's beautiful, I love it. The feeling is one of a kind, really. <coughs> there is no air here. The snow really hasn't been too bad. It's slick though. Gotta be careful not to slide down. So this is kind of how it is. I mean, as you can see, that's above tree line. No trees. And and I once you get down, look at that. All of a sudden it just starts. Boom, trees. And then you're into tree line and that's the safe place is in tree line you know i mean 
I we get up real early. I get up real early and try to get up and over the passes before this the thunderstorms come in. So you do not want to be caught in a thunderstorm up there on that continental divide anywhere. Because you, you just get pounded. But look at this. Now I'm getting down into tree. And the temperature is so much warmer already. <laughs> just being in tree line. And you feel safer. Because the storms can't get you. So you hike real hard in the morning. Come down to tree line. And then eat your lunch. But, I mean, this is a perfect example. Trees everywhere. Right here, no trees really. I mean, you got a couple, but. And I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled today for a Bigfoot. Cause I think a Bigfoot would love it up here. I mean, they would have to. This is the best place in the world. This is Cataract Spring. Cataract Creek, there's Fred right there, there's Rebecca up there eating, we're stopping for lunch, but they have a bridge right here, I mean a waterfall, and it says that you could take a shower under the waterfall. Nobody wants to do that though because the water is running so hard, look at this thing. Yeah. It's awesome. You could take a shower under there. And apparently under the water, under there, there's a bench that people could sit on. Take a shower. It's pretty cool. So now I'm here, I'm gonna collect water with my platypus. Uh, bottle. And all you do is open it up. Just like that, the top comes undone. Stick it in the water. Just like that. So, descended about 3,000 feet. Now it looks like we're in the desert here. That's Mohawk walking in front of me on the trail. So now we are here at the 10th Mountain Division bunkers. And this is what they look like. Looks like somebody might have been sleeping in that one right there recently. But I don't know exactly what these are. Maybe the people slept in here. I don't know. A lot of graffiti going on, but this is way back in World War II, 10th Mountain Division. Uh, trained here, and that was basically the beginning of the special ops units. These guys were out here in the winter time climbing up mountains, kinds of stuff. But that's what the bunkers look like. But they were in, and as you can see, it goes all the way. I mean, way far down there. That's a lot of different bunkers. Why don't we go take a look inside of one of these things? See what it looks like. Mohawk right there. Whoa. Man, these are nasty. What? And it looks to be about, I don't know how many are here. There's a ton of these going down there. It goes all the way down. And if those guys were sleeping in those things, that looks awfully uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. How's it going? Today is Saturday, July 11th, and basically last night we hiked far and ran out of water. So it was pretty rough because by the time we got to camp, we had no water whatsoever. And I found like a beaver pond type of thing and filled up my, my my dirty water container with some nasty pond water looking stuff that I was trying to avoid drinking if I could absolutely help it but 
We actually did hike 18 miles last night and made it into camp. Camp pretty close to the highway, which is weird. But that's, and then this morning we had, you know, the book said two and a half miles to water, but we made it there and there was no water. So I had to go another mile to three and a half miles. And that's where I am now is at a little river, a creek and uh, got plenty of water. So today, last night I camped with uh, Rebecca and Fred, which was nice. And I hiked during the day with Eva and who we're calling the jet now and Mohawk. But Eva and Mohawk went into Leadville last night to resupply and get a hostel and stuff, I think. So today we're gonna try to pound out 16 18 miles I'm trying to get close to Leadville um, or I'm sorry I'm trying to get close to Twin Lakes to meet my parents on Sunday but so far so good it's been a fantastic day and it's sunny and warm and nice and I think we can pound out these miles really nice so good to talk with you Okay, I entered Mount of the Holy Cross Wilderness, which is I think the third or fourth wilderness area I've gone through. And apparently on one of these mountains, there's supposed to be a big white cross made out of snow, you know, going down the mountain face. So I'll keep my eye out and look for that. All right, so my name's Fred. I'm from Moab, Utah, and I'm having a great time. We're on section nine. And we just came over the pass. I don't know if it's got a name, but we're headed down towards Turquoise Lake. It's a good day. Yeah, that's Fred. I've been hiking with Fred and camping with him the last couple of nights and with Rebecca. He's uh, originally from Canada, so he's a good guy, I think, to just be around out on the trail. Well, he's got a pretty positive attitude. Like he said, we're going to Turquoise Lake. That's our destination. So we've been following a lot of different trails for the last 150 miles. Uh, it's all the Colorado Trail, but that's interdispersed with a lot of different trails. I mean, there was a trail called the Blair Witch Trail at some point. But as you're walking, what you're looking for are signs blazed into the trees, or what it's called, tree blazes. And this is what it is right here. Right there. This is the symbol for the Colorado Trail. It looks like an I, uh, like a lowercase I. And they blaze those into the trees every once in a while. Um, and they're called confidence markers. And that helps you find your way across. But as you can see, trail is awfully nice here. But it kind of depends on where you are. I mean, up on the peaks where there are no trees, uh, the trail gets really thin. And on those spots, people pile up rocks into little pile pyramids that they call Karens and those Karens see there's another tree blaze right there so this is two tree blazes right next to each other and somebody makes those I don't know who but thank God for the people who do make them so that we don't get lost on the way hey 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 we're eating lunch here we've gone 10 miles we're gonna go eight more and I'm traveling with Fred right here who you met earlier and Rebecca who I've been traveling with for <laughs> quite a few days so what is your name i'm rebecca from colorado springs i'm doing great <laughs> had a good time on the trip so far definitely and she's been really tough because her feet hurt <laughs> so bad originally with all the blisters and she's just been knocking it out no complaining she's a tough girl over here good for lunch yep. what are you gonna have Vanilla espresso almond butter. Mmm, that looks good. And then whatever that thing is. Crackers in your bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate my protein bar, so I, she trades me every day for some beef jerky. <laughs> so it's a good trade. But those are the people that I've been hiking and camping with for the last couple of days at least. So, catch.
that. Okay, we're stopped here, and now we're gonna hike another like three miles up hill before we camp. But we we met up with Eva today and Lauren. But this is Eva, and her trail name is Jet. She is the Jet. And how? Where are you from? I'm from Washington State. And how has your trip been so far? It's been amazing. And who is your dog? Porter. He's right here. Here he is. This is Porter. Trail name. Bomber or Benny. Trail named the Cujo. Bomber or Benny or Cujo. And he has been fantastic on the trip. He carries all of his own weight here. What's that? What's that? <laughs> he was like, hello. What's that? How's it going, Lauren? Hey. Where are you from? I'm from Northern California. Yeah. And how's your trip been? It's awesome. I had a problem with my foot, but I hope it's fixed. Right. She pulled off and now it's healed up. And she's hiking hard. She's uh, got these pretty shoes. She cut out the whole back of the shoe because she had a little bit of a heel issue going on. But these two ladies are really fast climbers. And I met them the very first night and we camped together and we've camped together like five or six times already since then. So they're Woo! fantastic. Lauren the jet. So and the bomber. <laughs> We're gonna head off. Thank you. Okay, what is your name, my friend? My name is Mohawk. And where are you from? I'm from Burlington, Vermont. Right, and you've been hiking on the trail. How's it been going so far? It's been great, man. Great views, great people, great towns along the way, you know what I mean? Right, it's been fantastic. Yeah. And Mohawk has been hiking with us for, I mean, many days uh, now. Yeah, and we actually days. stayed in a hostel a while ago couple days back and it's been fantastic now he's sticking with us again tonight is that right yeah, yeah. yeah. it's Sunday July 12th uh, last night we or yesterday we did a uh, well I did a 21 mile day and uh, had a nice camp and camped with Fred and Rebecca Lauren Eva and Mohawk we had a real nice fire, good conversations. It was a great camp. Today, same day, July 12th, I just walked five miles the wrong direction. Well, two and a half miles the wrong direction, then back up two and a half miles to find where I got lost. Now I'm back on the Colorado Trail. It is 9.30 and I'm basically just starting trying to go meet my parents and now I'm gonna be really late uh, or later than I want it to be but whatever I feel better now I'm on the trail so man, I gotta pay attention more I guess hey we made it down to Twin Lakes and then I saw Vicky say hi to Vicky hi. and then I saw Dale right here it's the very first person that I saw whenever I got off the trail passing by is so weird <laughs> but then here's the crew yeah! And what did you get? Coke? Diet. Fritos, Fanta, of course. Everybody wanted Fritos. You got a Coke. So it's all good. This is the crew sitting down here. And I hope that I see them again on the way, but I'm going to take a zero and they're going to keep hiking. So eventually I bet you I bump into you guys down the way. Hello, Colorado Ken here. Um, the other day I was in Twin Lakes and my, my parents met me in Twin Lakes. Actually I came off of the mountain and I met Dale and Vicky who are my parents' friends. And uh, they met me right off the trail and then my parents were on the way so my parents picked me up about 30 minutes later and that was great to see them in Twin Lakes. But they drove down to Buena Vista because they had a place down here that they were staying and I ended up taking two zero days with them because they were here and I was gonna take a zero day anyway decided to take another zero day because I just love this little yurt that I'm staying in I got a discount on a year here in Buena Vista it's been a fantastic stay but look at where I was last night it's so I love it here this is my little yurt that I stayed in it had a big bed that I slept in last night got two bunk beds which I didn't sleep in but I used to put all my gear on and it, it's 
got the fan. Look at the ceiling. You can see right through and see the sky and everything. And at night, you could see the stars. It was very comfortable and warm. Lamp, I had electrical chargers. So I had, I got all my electrical equipment charged up my iPod and cell phone and everything else. And then I had a nice fridge. Let me make sure I didn't leave anything in here. And then a little heater for at night because it did get a little chilly in here. But this is a yurt in Buena Vista. And it was just fabulous. Oh, I had such a great sleep last night um, and the night before. And it's been good. I had to heal up a little bit. I walked about 180 miles, I think. And my... Uh, my ankles were a little bit swollen and you know of course a little bit of sore muscles so all that stuff I took care of but let's go look and see my mom and dad are out here they're gonna bring me back up to the trail this is my dad hi Yo, dad how you doing? good and this is the van that they brought down with them to, to, to pick up this is my mom hi mom hi sweetheart how are you great how are you doing great and this is the van that they're traveling in that that they picked me up in there's my backpack right there but this is the little yurt that i stayed in last night and that's what it looks like from the outside dad what's this place called it's called uh, arrow point right now arrowhead. we're in arrowhead rv arrowhead. park in um vista. buena vista colorado and it's been a fantastic stay for me. Just wonderful. That's what it looks like from the outside. I want one of these. I could live <laughs> in this forever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start the trail today and hike about 10 miles, uh, which is pretty easy. We're gonna go have breakfast this morning and then hike 10 miles and camp. And then I'm gonna start the, the real journey after that. Yo, son, it's been great being with you for a couple of days. Uh, you're one third through with your hike. You got uh, a big chunk of it done. Good luck. Be safe. Have fun. <laughs> Thank Love you, boy. Dad. Enjoy every minute of this journey. I am so far. And make sure to push your locator so we can track <laughs> I will. This is the tracking that my mom is referring to. I push this button. I call it my mom button. And I push that at lunch and at night so that they know where I am. So I am absolutely ready to go get back up on the trail and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today so far. So Colorado Ken, I'll catch you on the flip. Okay, so today is Wednesday, July 15th. Yeah, Wednesday, July 15th. And I had taken two zero days with uh, hanging out with my parents over in uh an rv park and then they came back and i got dropped off at the same place that i left off before so i'm hiking about 13 miles today gonna get up to a campsite uh, my body healed up really nice i'm feeling pretty good uh still a little stiff though starting out <laughs> again <coughs> but that's the trail i'm walking on right there and i was gonna camp uh, uh, down at the bottom by the river, but there was just too many mosquitoes down there So I figured I'd get a little higher up where there's a little less mosquitoes, but there's a pretty cool uh, teepee right there You know Maybe made by a Native American. Maybe not Okay, how's it going? So tonight is uh, July 15th and I just started back on the trail again after a couple days off and I'll tell you what whenever I started this Colorado trail I thought that I would be alone you know solo camping I was solo hiking so and I didn't figure that there would be too many people on the trail and what a surprise I had whenever the entire first two weeks I met up with a great group of people and uh, hiked with them the entire time and camped with them every night and just so that I can throw out names so I try not to forget this <laughs> in case you watch in this uh, I want to say that I had a great time meeting Blue Mountain Pony Eva the Jet uh, Long Legs 
Lauren, uh, Eva's dog, Porter. Had a great time with Rebecca every night. Fantastic time I had with uh, Mohawk, Tank. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. I don't even know if I can remember everybody. Uh, Breezy. Just had a great time with all of these people and camped and, and uh, it made the experience really wonderful having good campsites, big fires, and uh, you know, there was at one point, oh Fred, I wanna say hi to Fred too. And at one point, you know, we had 15 people camping in, in one spot, you know, big campfire, big flat areas, and, and it was wonderful. But I'll tell you what, I am a solo hiker and a solo camper normally. You know, I have friends that I go with a lot, but I like going out by myself. And the reason is, is I can hike as far as I want or as little as I want, and it's, and it's all my choice. Also, I like setting up camp in really obscure, weird spots that nobody else goes to, you know, kind of off the beaten path a little bit. And uh, camping with a lot of people, you end up trying to find a big flat open area. Sometimes it already has a little camp fire ring, you know, a fire ring there so you can have fires. And that's great, I love that too. But I wanted to show you like what I'm talking about, where I'm camped and, and how, how when you're a solo camper and if you have the right equipment, you can camp in little teeny spots out of the way but that are right there and nobody can see you maybe. So this is the trail that I came up here and this is the last water source here. It's very small, which is fine by me because I can filter that out just perfectly. But this is the trail. So I find my water and that was the, like I said, the last little water source there before the big mountain. And I just walk right up here and I picked out myself a little spot. See, this is the trail. Everybody would walk right by me. Can't see me, can't see my camp, can you? But if you walk right up here, just around the corner, there I am. Through the trees, this is a little game trail. And I set myself up a beautiful little spot here. And that's my tent. Now you can never fit four or five, six people here, but a solo camper, all, all you have to do is find one little flat niche, you know, a little niche here. I mean, as you notice, everything is slanted. I know you can't tell on the video camera, but this is all slanted. One little teeny flat spot fits my tent perfectly. I got to camp, I set everything up. There's all my stuff in here. And that's my tent, it's very pretty. I love the camouflage because uh, it's not, I mean it's nice that people can't see your tent, but I mostly have it so that when I'm laying in there, it looks like I'm looking up at the leaves and the flat and the trees and stuff, which I like. <clears throat> but I just set it up. Boom! There's my tent, right there. My shoes, everything that I got. And then all this firewood is right here that I pulled right off of this little tree. I pulled over this little log here, and then I have my little fire ring that I built, and I could just sit down, make my fire. And I'm right here off of the trail so that tomorrow morning I could just take off on the trail, which I'm gonna try to do really early in the morning because I gotta get up over a pass. Um, and then I got my water source right over here, which you saw already. All my lumber for the night. And then I got my little sticks, my bigger sticks, my even bigger sticks, and my fire pit. And when I make a fire, if it's wet, like it has been, I tend to put sticks down first on the, on the ground, lay them flat, and then I'll make my little pyramid and everything. And I'll have just a cute little fire here. You know, there's my tent right behind me. And 
You know, a lot of times, or sometimes, if you're a solo hiker, you wouldn't have a fire at all. If you didn't want to, I could cook my food just fine with Esbit tablets and my little cook stove. I am making a fire here, though, because I'm right on a game trail. I mean, I see a game trail coming right here, going to the water. And I'm sure it's just a deer game trail, and that's just fine. But sometimes if you make a little fire, then uh, animals, bears particularly, uh, will smell that and, and not want to be around it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of a deterrent. Plus, it helps out with the mosquitoes and stuff like that. And as everybody knows, having a campfire is just awesome. So <laughs> I am going to have a little fire. Right now, it's getting late. It's like 6 o'clock. And all my chores are done pretty much though. You know, I could make my fire and then just make my dinner. And then all it is is just uh, changing clothes and hopping in bed. But my tent, my bed, everything's all set up already. Now, whenever I do do something like this, off the beaten path where other people have not camped, in the morning, I will get rid of all of these rocks. I will, you know, dig out my pit, cover it all up disperse any lumber that's still left around i pick up everything that's behind me my tent and stuff and i leave no trace that i was here it's called low impact camping or no trace camping and i'm a firm believer in no trace camping um you know if it wasn't there when you got there don't leave it there when you leave <laughs> i i hope everybody does that but like i said i had a great great time with everybody else but I am so happy that tonight I get to solo camp and I just really love that. I love solo camping. It's one of my favorite. I can get into my own head and it's my own space and everything else. So anyways, that is where I'm at tonight. And I'm going to show you sometime how I set up that tent. I'll show you how I make fires eventually and I'll, and I'll show you how I filter water and everything like that. But I still have... I've hiked a hundred and probably, oh yeah, 195 miles so far of the three of the 500 miles. So I have about another 300 miles left to go. So that's plenty of time for me to show you everything. <laughs> and I think that in the future as I hike, I probably will bump into either my old group that I was with or new people, you know, but as of right now, I'm just really, really happy. So. so there you go. My food is cooking right there. Almost done. I'm all changed clothes. I feel warm and comfortable. Got my headlamp on. Tent set up right there. Food and everything. And I have a bear bag that I hung up down the way. And I've got my Z seat. And in here, hot chocolate and peppermint schnapps. Just a little bit of peppermint schnapps. Just for the flavor. <laughs> it's nice. Uh. And I am what you would call the proverbial happy camper. <laughs> Peace. Hello, so today is July 16th, it's Thursday right now, it's 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm about at 11,500 feet or something I think and I'm climbing up the shoulder of Mount Harvard which is a 14er in the Collegiate Peak Wilderness, uh, just beautiful but literally been uphill all day, I started at 7. <coughs> And I attained Windsor Mountain Peak, came down into a valley, and now I'm, like I said, I'm climbing the shoulder of Mount Harvard. But look how pretty it is. And I'm only about halfway up. I'm nearing the summit now, a little bit. Thought I'd stop and take a break on this nice little tree that I'm sitting on here. But let's talk about pain for a minute. Um, essentially, I call hiking uh, tolerable suffering. You know, um, there is intolerable suffering, which 
try not to do that too much, but it's tolerable suffering. There is suffering involved, you know? And about pain, I'll tell you what, anybody who does this hike, the first week that you're doing it, see the top of your, your head right here? All the way down to the bottom of your foot, that's gonna hurt <laughs> every bit of it. Uh, hiking with another three different girls today. Demi, uh, aviator, and fire. Fire. I forget what her trail name is. Fire, fire, or something. Look at this. Okay, so I just got down here to the trailhead. Uh, after hiking all day anyways bottom line i sat in, next to on this tree and this bear came just tearing by this direction see all these cars i'm at the trailhead and he went ran right from behind these cars this way right up there which is a little sketchy because that's where the trail is and i know there's three girls that i've been hiking with right up that trail <laughs> coming down but it looked like he kind of skirted I mean, it looked like he went that way more. But first sighting of a bear, it wasn't huge. It was like a normal sized black bear. It looked like a big, a big dog or whatever. Uh, but fast, the thing was running like 30 miles an hour probably. And there would be no way you could run away from that thing, so. Anyways, I'll keep my camera out for a minute and if he comes back, I know he's gotta be right around here somewhere. Uh, I'll try to take some film of him. All right, cool, cool. Hi, I'm Aviator, and I'm from south of Charlottesville, Virginia, and I'm doing the Colorado Trail. And today I am going to go as close to Hot Springs as possible. Good morning, today is Saturday, July 18th. And uh, I hiked yesterday with a, a different group of people during the day, but then in the evening, after I hiked 20 miles yesterday, and then I bumped back into Rebecca and Mohawk, which is really awesome to see them again. And we had a camp last night, and there were some older people that were car camping down the way, and they made steaks and potatoes and they gave us French bread and marshmallows and all of it. And then in the, and then in the morning they made us sandwiches to take with us. So we thought it was fantastic, good trail magic. And they were just nice people. We stayed up all night talking with them about mountains. They're, they climb 14ers quite a bit. So that's awesome. But this morning, uh, just climbed a little ridge and I'm gonna stop and eat my sandwich here. Right now it is like 7.30 in the morning. I think I left at 6.45 or something. But look at how pretty it is down there. I just came from way down in the valley. Here for lunch, Rebecca, yeah! yeah. Here comes Breezy, yeah! Hot springs were awesome, right? They're very awesome. And so, where do you come from, Breezy? I'm from Colorado Springs. Yeah, and you're enjoying your time here? I am. Enjoying seeing Colorado on foot. It's yeah, beautiful. it's been beautiful. Okay, Cal, what's your trail name and where do you come from? Boo. How's it going? Saturday, July 18th. I'm in Salida. This place is dope. There's a festival going on here right now. It's like 8 o'clock at night. But this is Salida River. And it looks pretty sweet. 
Look at there's like a little festival going on down here. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. Check out the band. Try to get a ride to a campsite. Hey, Colorado Ken here. So it is Sunday, July 19th, and I'm in Salida, and I kicked it last night. I had a really good time in this town. I think it's sweet. Right now, I'm in a coffee shop, charging everything and eating food. And I met up with a trail friend. So here she is. What is hey. your name? My name is Clinks. Right. I'm from New Hampshire, and I live in Austin, Texas now. Live in Austin, and how's your trip been so far? It's been good. You like the mountains? Absolutely. It's been a really good change of scenery. And you've met good people on the way? Yeah, obviously. It's been fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's been really good. But just to recap, I went into Salida last night to resupply. And as a word of advice, I would say for people, if you're sending your boxes to yourself, don't send them to the post offices because inevitably you're gonna end up in town on a Saturday or a Sunday. It's happened to every single person so far, and now it's happened to me. So whenever I got there, I got there Saturday night, there was no post office open, so I couldn't get my box and I didn't wanna wait till Sunday, so instead I went to, uh, instead I went to Walmart and, and resupplied everything. And then after that, I went down and laid in the grass and there was an art festival going on, which is so great, or a music festival. So I laid in the grass and listened to music and then I got with some guys that I had met at that festival that were local people and they took me to a party. <laughs> and uh, I had a good party with them, which was great. And then I met up with my friends Nemo and Rachel and we went and stealth camped. Uh, on somebody's property. I, I don't even know where we were exactly. And then in the morning, I, uh, you know, hitchhiked right away, got a ride right to the laundry mat, and I did my laundry there. And when I was doing my laundry, I met uh, some other, a bunch of people. There were like hippies that were doing, building an earth ship, and they let me go to their place and take a shower. So I got a good shower, got my laundry done, got all my, and then I and then I went into town, and hung out with Sarah at the coffee shop, which was really nice talking with her, and uh, charged up my all my phones and my cameras and everything like that, and then I started to hitchhike out of town, and I threw my thumb and I got picked up by a van full of beautiful Australian girls. Which were was and they were followed by a whole nother car of their friends, which were another whole car of beautiful Australian girls. So I think there were probably eight or ten uh, beautiful Australian girls. <laughs> so that was really nice, and I only had to hitchhike every time for about five minutes. I would throw my thumb and put on a smile, and people would pick me up right away. They were really nice in Salida. And it was great. So the uh, the Australian girls dropped me off up here at the trail, and of course I had to walk the miles up to the trailhead. So here's where I am now. Boom! Continental Divide Trail, Colorado Trail. So I am going that way. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I have like seven days worth of food. This is a fairly remote stretch going from Salida all the way to Lake City. Made it to the top of the summit, Sunday, July 19th. It is five o'clock exactly, and I got some clouds going on. So I'm trying to, I'm just gonna bust out this video real quick because I don't wanna linger up here too long. It's pretty late. That's a pretty cool ice shelf. Good morning. 
So today is uh, Monday the 20th, July. And last night, met up with the whole group again. Uh, Fred was there and, we, and uh, um, Kevin from Kansas, I just call him Kansas, but he had some friends over and we had a really nice campsite and it was warm and there were cows that came in through the camp and then in the morning, it was like a cow alarm. Moo, it was like, push the cow snooze button. <laughs> we wanna sleep a little longer. But today the whole caravan is trying to get to 22 miles. So that's kind of a push probably for everybody, but everybody's a lot stronger now and we're cruising fast. So how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing really good this morning. And what is your name? I'm Charles. Where did you come from? Right. And so this year we're doing 15 miles, or 100 miles, 10 days. So doing segments. Yeah. So we're headed to uh, Spring Creek. Right. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. How are you doing, my friend? Ah, uh, great. Are you, what is your name? My name is Bill. <laughs> right, where'd you come from, Bill? Oh, uh, Denver, but we started on Monarch. Right. We're gonna go all the way up. We're going to Spring Creek. That's quite a few miles, really. Uh, yeah, it'll be about 100 miles. Only. Right, and you guys are doing segments. Have you done another whole part of this trail yeah, before? Yeah, we've done I-70, uh, Wyoming to I-70, and I've done parts of Wyoming. Oh wow! You might end up doing the entire CDT after it's all said and done. If I live long. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Uh, right now, it is Monday, July 20th, and it's about 7 o'clock at night. And it's exactly 7 o'clock at night. And we hiked 22 or 23 miles today, and it rained and lightning hard on us, and it's still raining. Normally, we'd be outside hanging out with everybody. Amazingly enough, I'm camped right next to Eva and Lauren, who I hadn't seen in about a week. And so they're camped right next to me on that side. And Rebecca is behind us. And Fred is here. And Mohawk is here. And we met another couple named uh, Mordecai and Lindsay, and they're camped up the way a little bit. We're right next to a beautiful lake outside. But this is what you do whenever it's totally raining. This is the inside of my tent. And actually, I put an umbrella up here underneath my vestibule, which works really well. I'm cooking my dinner right here. Actually, I'm a, I already cooked my dinner, and this is hot chocolate right there. My water, my shoes are underneath everything. There's my spoon <laughs> waiting to eat, and my food is right here cooking. And while it's hot, I leave it underneath my I leave it underneath my down. Uh, sleeping bag so it's keeping me warm while it's cooking uh, I don't know if I told you but right now we're camped at 11,500 feet and yep this is what my tent looks like I got my data book and my other books that I can read and hang out for a while until it stops raining okay I'm gonna eat some dinner peace out what is today? Tuesday the 21st of July. Look at our beautiful campsite. This is my tent. There's Eva going down. Hi Eva. And their tent. Everybody's drying their stuff out. Because it was wet last night. There's a full camp going on right there. There's Fred, K, 
Kevin down there, Mohawk down there. There's Porter right there. But this is the beautiful lake. And there's Breezy's tent. Holy cow, is Rebecca gone already? <laughs> this is Mohawk packing up. <laughs> and that was his spot by the lake. Super wet last night. Did you have condensation in your tent? Yeah, it got soaked. <laughs> And then here's a lake over here. Oh, this is a totally separate lake. And that is gorgeous. What up? Okay, my friend, you gotta be on the video. Yeah, dog. All right, this is our buddy that we've been hanging out with lately. So what is your name? Uh, Frank. No. <laughs> it's Kevin. It's Kevin, and we've been calling him Special K lately. So you've been calling me only. <laughs> right, I've been calling him Special K. And where did you come from? Kansas City Mo. Kansas City Mo, and you've had a good time on the trip so yeah, far? Yeah, I feel great today after hiking 25 miles. Right, he did 25 much. miles yesterday in the rain and lightning and stuff, and this was his spot down here. Yeah. In between the trees. Me, Sun is coming down, and you're ready to pull out the other 14 today? Yeah, dog. He's yeah. I think it's only 12. Are you serious? Yeah, it's pretty weak. All right, sweet. We need it. Yeah, beautiful lake right there. This is pristine. This is the camp. This is a clothing tree, apparently. <laughs> Sleeping bags hanging up. Hey, good morning. Today is Tuesday, the 21st of July, and it is 9.30. I just left camp at about nine o'clock, which is super late. But we camped at 11,500 feet last night next to a really pretty lake called Baldy Lake. And we had a nice fire. And incredibly enough, we met, we met up the entire crew that we started with on the first day. And we're 21 days later. And now the whole crew, which is all people that we really like, are all back together again. And we're gonna hike about 14 miles today, short day, and have a camp. And I just love waking up and hiking in the morning. Uh, it's overcast, but it's just beautiful, you know? There's the top of the mountain right there. And a big grassy field. I'm walking down these two little trails right here. And it's just beautiful. So last night we camped with uh, myself, Ken, and Eva, the Jet, and Lauren, and Breezy, and Kevin from Kansas, and Mohawk, and Fred. And we, I hiked yesterday for a while with a couple of, with a couple named, uh, I forget their names, but they camped up top anyway. And uh, so today we're just cruising along. It's gonna be a nice easy day. I'm gonna take it mellow and slow. And hopefully that sun will peak out later. <laughs> There's Rebecca and Fred coming down. We're setting up right here tonight on this road. There's Eva setting up her thing. Porter, big dog. And it's been a wet day today. And we traveled, what, 16 miles, Fred? Yep. 16 miles, we're gonna set up and chill here. All right, peace out. Hey, Monday, July 22nd. 
Look at all this. This would be frost on the tent. Everybody woke up cold this morning. <laughs> but that sun is slowly creeping down. Hey, Wednesday, July 22nd. Woke up this morning with a lot of frost on the tent. Everybody was really cold. And it is sunny, as you can see. Not a cloud in the sky. And today was the one day that I was kind of hoping for some overcast weather because we have a stretch of 22 miles without any water. Murr. Murr. Trying to communicate. Back to you? Not really. Gunnison National Forest. There's Eva, Lauren, and Fred. And that cow right there had been chasing them down the road. I thought that was your pet cow. Well, it's our aggressor. I think we're his pet. Right, I didn't realize it was getting aggressive until the end. That so thing is fuzzy. awesome. Yeah, huh? I'm dripping water. Check him out, he's a little teeny. He's a fast, fast little sucker. I think he's doing two miles an hour. <laughs> he's working towards two and a half miles an hour. Does that feel good, Eva? On my shin it does, yeah. Gotta soak but I can only do one foot at a time. That's some cold water. What did you guys do in water? Pretty good. I did like two or three li two liters all day long. Seems like. You're crazy. You're crazy. Ciao, big dog. We love the river. We did 22 miles without water today. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love this spot for camping. Look at we got a river right here. Beautiful skies on both sides. There's everybody sitting by the fire. That's the view. Tents everywhere. It's beautiful. Look at our sunset. We got a nice camp spot here. I love it. You know what? I am going to do that. It's a good idea. This is absolutely gorgeous. Everybody's taking pictures. I'm taking video of people taking pictures right now. <laughs> Everybody pulled their camera out because the sky is so pretty right now. Taking pictures? Oh, we're duly cameras! <laughs> Long John taking a picture. That's a beautiful camera. <laughs> taking pictures of everybody taking pictures. No, it takes pictures. I've been taking pictures. Now I'm taking a video of the coolness. I like filming my shadow, or I just like watching my shadow as I hike in the morning. 
The morning is one of the best times to hike, probably, because it's so beautiful. But my favorite time is between 5 and 7 o'clock at night. That is the prime time for hiking, I think. So, today is Thursday, January 23rd. It's about 8.30. And had a wonderful camp last night. Uh, a lot of people came over and then a new guy showed up who, who walks really fast. So I'm not sure if he'll be with us for too long, but his name is uh, um, Long John Strider. So, good guy. Slow down. This is how Special K puts up his tent. <laughs> we all like watching it. It's the evening entertainment before dinner. We have no idea why he does it. But he does it somehow. <laughs> Do you need help? No. Oh, you got it? Okay. <laughs> it is. It's a wintertime tent. There's my tent. And look at our view tonight. That's the mountain that I like right there. And that is a 14er that we might climb tomorrow. Good morning. It's Friday. Or I mean, it's a uh, yeah, Friday, July 24th. It's five in the morning, 4:30 in the morning, and we got up early to summit a 14er, San Luis Peak. Okay, today is Saturday, July 25th. And this is the new SD card. So, we stayed in Lake City last night. Camped with like nine people out of our group. Had a big party kind of with music playing. And we ate a lot of food. Lake City's really cool. We liked it. And got, we tented up in the backyard right there. How's it going? Today's Saturday the 25th. We walked five miles and there was no water. We just left Lake City last night. But then we walked another three miles, eight miles all together. And look at what we found, a year that we can stay in tonight. And we walked down the, in that valley. And look at this thing, this is dope. It's got propane out here. You got your huge deck. I'm here with Fred, Rebecca and Kevin. And this place is awesome. Fire pit, you got stove. Look at all this that people left. Some alcohol, fireball, a journal, and four cots for us to stay in. Firewood, this is a great place for us to stay tonight. So uh, we are very happy. I'm gonna sleep on that bunk. That's it's Rebecca's bunk. This is where Special K is crashing right there. 
He's got a nice cot. Nice. Yeah. This is our cool yurt. And we're gonna make a fire right in there. Yeah, we'll edit it up. You did the lightning Were you pose? Out in the open when it, when it was lightning? Eva and Lauren made it. So you guys probably want to come around this side. And it's 9 o'clock at night and they went through a lightning storm. There's no stair. This is like a hobby. What? Oh we almost died. Like, I thought we were going to die out there. Hey, good morning. Today is July. It's Sunday, July 26th. Last night we stayed in that yurt. Way up there, if you could see that. And it's about 7.30 in the morning. Right now we're at 11,500 feet. Today we're gonna go to the highest point of the Colorado Trail, which is 13,200 feet or something. And uh, we're only gonna try to do about 14 miles. Last night we had a fantastic night. Uh, Rebecca, myself, Fred, and Kevin all were up at the yurt. And then Eva and Lauren showed up at about 9 o'clock at night through a wicked thunderstorm. So they did show up and we had a nice fire built. And it was such a homey, wonderful uh, experience up there. So today's the day, another new day on the way. Pretty cool, huh? Look at those hoodoos up there. Those are hoodoos. This is the trail I'm climbing up over that pass somewhere. Looks like there's some snow. And I guess down in that valley there were three moose. What? Yeah. You should just give her a different okay, piece and this one. But see, now I'm eating yours and I'm carrying it. I'll have a piece of your cheese. <laughs> I will not turn Is that good cheese? Sharp. Oh. Let <laughs> me put it in my cheddar broccoli. This is our camp for the night. Everybody's tents. Oh shit. Our our camp spot is awesome. I think we're at like twelve thousand three hundred feet. Okay, so today is Sunday, July 26th, and it's raining outside pretty bad. <laughs> we hiked like 14 miles, we're camped at 13,300 feet, and it's going to be a chilly night tonight. I'm in my tent. Cooking my food. Got my rain fly down. 
Got my water here, food ready to go, snacks, all my other stuff, so. Today is Monday, July 27th. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. Look how pretty it is out there. It's six in the morning and the entire CT crew that I camped with last night is already up and on the trail. <laughs> We're trying to push 20 miles today and it's all over, uh, uh, it's all above tree line. And we're a little nervous about lightning. Yesterday I got hit pretty hard with some hail, some rain, and I was at the high point. <laughs> so kind of fought through that, but we're trying to avoid it. I mean, right now the sky is beautiful and the morning is beautiful. But those clouds are gonna come in today. So we're trying to get up over all the high points early this morning and get into camp at uh, 10 miles away from Molus Lake. So this is what they call a Karen. And you can see how big it is. Normally they aren't that big. Normally they're a lot smaller. But that's a Karen. And that's what we follow if there is no trail. There's another Karen right there. I see a Karen over there. So I'll be walking to that Karen and then to that Karen. I was just following this and ended up with that Karen there. So day has been beautiful. I'm looking for a field full of flowers and sunlight. To dry out your camp. And we've been running into a lot of bikers, mountain bikers, that are doing a mountain bike race that started on Saturday in Durango and they're biking all the way to Denver uh, for the 500 miles. Some of these guys haven't even slept for 48 hours already. And they're still biking. A ridge right there. There's hundreds of sheep. You probably can't see them on the camera, but there's a whole line of sheep. I can see their silhouettes up there on top of that peak. And this is the shepherd right here there he goes the shepherd he's a man of few words <laughs> Stony Pass. I'm getting close to home. <laughs> There's a rhythm in which things taste. Hello. But the lights don't move and the colors don't fade. Leaves you empty with nothing but dreams. In a world gone shallow, in a world gone mean. Sometimes there's things a man cannot know Gears won't turn and the leaves won't grow oh. There's no place to run I'll edit no that out. gasoline <laughs> Engine won't turn Look and at the all train these wildflowers. won't be Engines won't turn and the train won't be Call number two. I will stay with you tonight. Hold you close to oh, the morning light. Is there a back and back there? Watch the new day rise. Do whatever just to stay alive. Do whatever. 
Everybody down this hill. Day alive. Eva ate it right there. Well, the way I fell is the way I arrived. Yeah, we like that. the thoughts of a man who lies. There is a truth and it's on our side. This is probably the prettiest scene that we've seen. Right? Special K using the life straw. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Nice little river here. And a cave, which I'm gonna check out right now. There's a cave over here. There might be treasure. We need a headlamp. Man. This thing goes back pretty far. If there's a bear back here, we're gonna have problems. Holy cow. We got it. Is that that's the <laughs> end? <laughs> Holy cow. I like emerging. Look at this little cabin. I don't think it would pass an OSHA inspection. <laughs> This is our camp spot for the night. We're down from the trees. There's my tent. Rebecca's tent. Kevin's tent. There's water down that way. And Eva's here. Lauren is here. We lost Fred though. Fred went on. The legend. Across the trail is where we're gonna have our wicked fire pit. And that's Lauren and Eva's tent right there. Good morning. Today is July, two, or Tuesday, July the 28th, I think. Uh, it's seven in the morning right now. And I am 10 miles away from Silverton, which is really getting home. Silverton is my stomping ground anyway. So, Camped last night with Eva, Lauren, Rebecca, and Kevin. And Fred left last night. He had some business to attend to, so he was trying to get down to Silverton. Uh, today we're gonna hike about 10 miles down to Silverton and eat lunch, resupply, clean up. I'm looking forward to it. 
this is where I am this morning. This is Mollus Lake right here. And we are across the lake on that little sandbar right there. And I'll show you that camp whenever we get there. But this is a nice place. So be ride number two in the back of a pickup truck today. <laughs> this time we got wood. And this is the lake. Molas, very pretty, <coughs> it's awesome. And that's what it looks like on that side. That's the lake, it's pretty awesome. The smorgasbord, <laughs> we got marshmallows, we've got this bratwurst made with beer, which is awesome. Yeah, We've got good. these, which are somewhat contraband. <laughs> Cokes, those are mine. Twizzlers, of course. Those yeah. are special K's, yeah. but I love them we too. Buns, we got buns, buns <laughs> beers, gorp, and wood. And a place, there's Fred's tent. My tent, set up all funky. This is uh, Special K's tent, Lucky's tent. <laughs> Lucky is Rebecca, special K is Kevin, we all know that. He's going for the zipper again. Yeah, he saw you on putting all that stuff in the front. I mean, what's he really going to do, open it? I mean, Maybe. Like, <laughs> if he does, Maybe. then we can worry. Come around, little guy. Hold him, Hold him. The zipper's right there, dude. That's Alvin the Chickmunk trying to get into Special K's tent. That's a small hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite know what's happening to it. But it's called sausage. Something is happening. It's kicking. It's like bad news bears. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, good morning. Today is Wednesday, July 29th. It's 7 in the morning. And I'm leaving camp right now. This was where we camped. So, just in case I've never showed you, we follow these a lot of times. See this post? And this is the Colorado Trail symbol. Boom. Here's Little Mollus Lake. Just gorgeous. So there's the backside of Engineer Mountain right there. And local people in Durango, if you're from Durango, you know Engineer Mountain. Okay, Colorado Ken here. Bumped into some people that we've been bumping into back and forth the last few days. The last time I saw them was up at a beautiful spot and there were sheep and Sherpas and other things, but this is them, and I'm going to let them introduce yourself. What, what is your name? Hey, my name is Bo. I'm from Lakewood, Colorado, doing the color trail with my daughter, Lindsay Ray. Right, Lindsay, how are you doing? Are you from? Um, I grew up in Lakewood. I go to Western State in Gunnison now. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, and we're on the color trail. And how's the trip Colorado been trail? so far? Awesome. Has it been good? Yes. Totally. Awesome. This is the best part, the views. <laughs> we're thinking the Letterman best hand and... The views are right up there. Man. That's right, and there's Engineer Mountain right there. Yeah. And purgatory in the backdrop. Purgatory in the back, and we are on the last leg of the trip, basically. I mean, we have 75 miles right. about to go, and we've gone 415, so we're doing good, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Nice, okay, thank you guys. This is gorgeous. I love my backyard.
So this is where I am, I'm on top of the saddle. It's 1147, that's where I came from. There's the sign. Look at that big waterfall up there. This is Cascade Creek Bridge, very pretty. I don't know if you could see it, but there's a big waterfall up there. And there's a huge waterfall right there. It's just dropping off the canyon. Uh, it's just a beautiful, this is Cascade Creek. And I love Cascade Creek. <laughs> it's a good place to be. I am getting there. Yeah, finally gained the saddle. Are packing it in. That's the way to do it. Look at me, I got the backpack on. <laughs> you guys have the right idea. Okay, so Wednesday, July 29th, and we're at Celebration Lake. Here's Rebecca, Rebecca's tent. This is gonna be our little camp spot right here. And coming up, Fred the legend. The legend of Fred. But look at that tree. I don't know how those things pull out of the ground like that so fast. Celebration Lake right there. Celebrate good times, come on! So I came down to do my laundry here and there's like a bunch of salamanders. Or uh, well salamanders everywhere. Can you see that? I'll try to put the camera in the water. There's a deer right there in our camp. We call this deer curious George. And been hanging around camp. Videotape the fire. I think I videotaped a polywog. Hey, good morning. So today is July 30th. I only have a couple of more days to go to knock this CT trail out. It's about nine in the morning right now. I've been hiking for a couple of hours. This is my view. It's gorgeous. Durango is somewhere that way over those mountains. How are you? Bouncing a lot of water. He's carrying this much more water. This is our camp right here tonight. We hiked like 22 miles today with no water, pretty much. But there was a truck in the middle that had water, which is nice. And then tomorrow we're gonna go up and over a peak and camp. And then there's only one more day till we, I get home. Which is nice. Everybody's cooking up. Tonight we got Special K, Fred the Legend, Rebecca doing her thing. Yeah, Lucky, which is a good name for her. And which we met earlier. How's it going?
Okay, here we go. So this is a buddy that we met um, the other day. I met him a little while ago, actually, and then we bumped back into him yesterday. So what is your name, my friend? I am Wiffle Chicken. Nice. And where do you come from? Uh, California. I grew up near the happiest place on earth, Southern California, near Disneyland. <laughs> I've Sweet. been living in the Bay Area for a while now. So. Awesome. And how's your trip been so far? Trip's been awesome. Yeah. Excellent. And why do they call you Wiffle Chicken? I got my Wiffle Ball bat with me. My luxury item just weighs a few ounces and uh, provides hours of entertainment. And I see there's a string attached to it so you don't lose it. String ball bat. That is out of control. So how do you do it? Somebody, or you just throw it up and nail it? I just throw it up and hit it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ready? Boom. Oh, that's wow. perfect. Boom! Nice! Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm Boom! That was a solid hit. Oh, That's how you hang tree. a bear bag. Oh, you can hang a bear bag like that. Good morning. Colorado Ken here. Uh, it's 6.30 in the morning, and I'm almost out of here, but it's Friday the 31st of July. This is the second to the last day. Uh, everybody's up and out early this morning. We're trying to get over a pass that's pretty much notorious for lightning strikes. So the way to do that is to get up and over the pass before those clouds come in. You know, you do it in the morning because the afternoon can be highly dangerous. So we're going to do that. It's only about eight miles to get up and over down to tree line again. But today in total, we're doing about 16 miles and everything's going fantastic so far. Okay, I'm heading up High Line Trail here in a minute and that's pretty much Lightning Alley. We've gone 475 miles or 80 miles or something or 470 miles. Hate to get struck the last day. Hey, I'm on top of the world already. I made it up to the top of the summit. It is about 8.30 and look at it. It's majestic. I mean, we're so high up here. You could almost see like the curvature of the earth almost. How's the hike going? It's going great. It's going good. Fantastic view up here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it sure is. What is your name, my friend? Uh, Mitch. Mitch, I know. I met you last night, but I'm doing a little interview. We actually camped with Mitch and Mary last night. Mary's back there somewhere hiking up. And you guys are section hiking? Yes. Yeah, they're section hiking the CT, and they've already done some sections, right? Yeah, last year Mary did the whole thing. All right. Uh, I, did, uh, I did a bit, a few hundred until I fell off Mount, Mount Massive. Right, he fell off of yeah. Mount Massive and broke his shoulder last year, so... But now he's uh, doing the end. Are you going all the way down to Durango or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they headed from, where were you started from this uh, time? Just Mollus Pass. Yeah, right. They went from Mollus Pass down to Durango, which is a beautiful, beautiful section of trail. Yeah, it sure is. It's one of the super ones. And you're feeling good. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful view. This is fantastic. I'm going to give you a panoramic. All right. Pamoranic? You know, I'm not sure. I think I'm at 13,000 feet or something. about 8:45 in the morning Friday October 30 or I mean July 31st And I'm headed up over those I think getting her knocked out That's What you call scree Fred. 
This is sweet. Okay, now this is a place for a panoramic. Or a... I still can't figure that word out. It might be panoramic. Pamoranic. Panama Canal. Pomeranian. I'm just not sure. Was it beautiful? And this is outstandingly beautiful. There goes Lucky Girl down the trail. Durango, 26 miles. And there's the trail, 26 miles to go. I feel like I'm in a western. John Wayne movie. What's your name, my friend? My name is Ricardo. My trail name is Reason. Right, where are you from? I'm from uh, Denver, live in Vail now. Nice, and we're almost done with the trail. We're gonna go out tonight or tomorrow we're night. Gonna party. Huh? We're gonna get some Texas tacos. Nice, Texas tacos. Uh, Sweet. 
You heard about these interviews. What is your name? <laughs> I'm Lauren and my name's Pine from the trail. Pine? Where'd you come from, Pine? Um, Arvada. Arvada. And you're having a good time on the trail so far? Enjoying it. Nice. Thank Enjoying you. <laughs> What's up, my friend? How are you doing? What is your name? My name's Chief. Chief, big chief, where are you from? From the Bell area. Nice, and yeah, down yeah. to do the CT and you're yeah. almost done. Oh yeah, time for a beer. Sweet, time for a beer. How's it going? Ah, what is your name? I'm Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. Where did you come from? The Arvada area, Denver. Nice, yeah. have you, all you guys been traveling together this yeah, whole time? Yeah, the whole time. We started out as a group of six and What's that? Fantastic, yeah. and you're knocking it out. <laughs> yep. And you all know this guy, Special K. I'm Steve Gutenberg. Steve Gutenberg, that's right. How are you doing, I'm bro? I'm here for the police academy. <laughs> awesome. I'm doing great. Uh, my trail name's Hawkeye. I'm from Minnesota. It's Hawkeye from Last of the Mohicans. Uh, first time to Colorado. I love this state and I love this trail. It's been great. Friday, July 31st, last day on the trail. Uh, we're at camp. We have about 14 miles to go tomorrow. That's it to get to Durango. Okay, well, I guess I'll take this opportunity since it's raining <laughs> and I'm stuck in here right now to reflect on my trip. I have hiked, you know, nearly 500 miles. There's 14 miles left to Durango. And I gotta say, I had a fantastic time. It's been a wonderful trip. I met so many wonderful people and I ended up traveling most of the time with a group of about seven or eight people that I really like. And I met lots of other people that were you know bounce in and out and they all have good stories and there's always something to learn from these people i was amazed at how many older people were doing the trail and really rocking it out and a lot of pretty ladies on the trail so it's been fantastic we're all packed up but we camped here last night how you doing you ready to get out today i just shit <laughs> yeah, it's doing the morning S, S, and S, which is what you got to do. Hey, so it's 9 o'clock right now. I'm on the last leg of the journey. Have probably about 10 more miles to go. And I, I ran out of food yesterday. <laughs> so kind of out of food today. And I know 15 miles doesn't seem very far without food. But when you're hiking your body gets into this thing where it wants to eat. So, not to continually tell my belly, you aren't getting any food until we get back, you know? And then it's beer and pizza and Coke and, uh, man, burgers with bacon on it, ranch dressing, you know, you've got ice cream for sure of some sort. I, I, I could probably eat everything. But look at, very, very pretty. I want an omelet, uh, I want hash browns, I want french fries, I'm thinking a nice root beer would be good, uh, I can't even count off everything I want, I want a calzone, I want a calzone with sausage and spinach and ooh that feta cheese, nice meat sauce on top glass of red wine sounds good uh, salad I need vegetables I'll take a salad with uh, tomatoes and I also want bacon bits on that and sunflower seeds and uh, bread crumbs or whatever those are called croutons man I want Mexican food I want enchiladas. I want two cheese enchiladas, one beef enchilada. I want Christmas sauce on it, which is red and green. You know, I'll take the beans and the rice and then maybe a margarita. <laughs> All of it is good. Okay, I'm gonna head off. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Colorado Ken here. I'm at Goody's Rest, five miles away from Durango, which is right there. And bumped into a couple of people who are headed northbound. So what is your name, my friend? I'm Snarf. This is Bo. Bo! Yeah. Steffi. And Steffi. And you guys are both from Denver? Yep. Really? And yep. you're just Walking starting home. from Durango? Yep. Mm -hmm. Started about an hour and a half ago. Right. And now you got 500 miles That's to get right. to Denver. And they're doing the opposite of what I did. I went from Denver and I'm hiking home to Durango. And they started from Durango and they're hiking home to Denver. That's right. So mentally, it's a good thing to be going home. Yep. It's nice. Nice. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Right now it's 1244. Colorado Ken here, Saturday the 1st. Boom! Durango. I'm getting Carver's beer. That's the beer that you get. Free beer at Carver's. <laughs> After you, you do the CT. <laughs> What's up? This is the OG CDT crew or CT crew. And now everybody's out of the mountains. We're eating burger night here at. How's it going, you guys? <laughs> Lauren made it. Eva made it. Rebecca made it. Rachel made it. I know Rachel. Nemo made it. I'm just a ride. Brett is around to hang out. Right, Breezy made it. And Kevin made it. So I can't exaggerate 